Hello again everyone and welcome back to Steel Forest Welding and Forge. Today is going to be another how-to video on some of the basic blacksmithing techniques. Today we're going to cover twisting and for this video we're going to be twisting this piece of metal that I have here prepared for our demo today. I'm going to walk you through some of the techniques used in twisting and then we'll head over to the forge and we'll show the step-by-step -step process on how to twist. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and cover some of the techniques used in twisting and blacksmithing. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard the saying, strike while the iron's hot. Well, that harkens back to an old blacksmithing saying, and really all it means is when you get something out of the fire, don't screw around. You want to use as much of that heat as you can to save yourself trips back and forth between your forge. Uh, and it pertains to twisting uh, particularly. Now, what I mean by that is when you heat up a bar, you want to make sure you get it really hot and you get that heat nice and even. If you only get a good, like let's say, bright orange heat here in the center, and then maybe kind of a dull red heat here on the ends, when you go to twist this bar, it is not going to twist proportionally. It will twist quite a bit here in the middle, and it won't twist, or twist quite as well on the ends. And that's just going to lead to a poor looking twist. Now we do these for visual aesthetics. We want to make sure we do a good job. So part one, make sure you have a good heat all the way through your part. Step two, when you're getting your part out of the forge, make sure you have all of your tools ready to go. And what I mean by that is, uh, right now we're going to be using this post vise to hold my material while I'm twisting it. I want to make sure that I have this vise open and adjusted and ready to go so when I slip it in here, all I have to do is give this a little crank on the handle and we're ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Open this guy up. Get in there so it fits. Right about there, and that's perfect. My handle's facing down. So now I can take this out of the fire, put it in here, give it a quick little crank, and I'm ready to go. Now for the actual twisting, I have this twisting wrench that I built myself. This is just two old pipe wrenches. I cut the head off of one and the adjustable part, welded the handle onto the head of another one. And now what I can do is that I can adjust this according to the different size material I have and just twist virtually anything. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy, open it up so that I have a nice tight fit on my part. So again, I can come in here and just twist right away. You don't want to have a super tight fit on this guy. Uh, you just getting it in and out will be kind of tough. But you also want to make sure you don't have a lot of slack in it. If you have slack in it and it's have a nice tight fit, it kind of turns a little bit before it bites. Remember, when this steel is hot, those edges are just going to roll right over. So make sure you have a fairly decent fit. All right, so that's fitted up. Clamps ready to go. Let's go ahead and put this guy in the fire and give it a twist. Right, everyone well, that's a wrap on today's video on twisting uh, thank you for watching if you could please like and subscribe this video it would help me an awful lot here is our end results As you can see turned out pretty nice I put a little bit of decorative uh, filing on the corners here to kind of just break up that image make it look a little bit different 
And as you can kind of see here, it twisted a little bit out of square. Um, I think that's just because I had such a big piece here. And even though it was screaming hot, this is one inch solid bar. It does not like to twist. And unfortunately, my post vise isn't mounted, but it still turned out great. Looks nice. I love it. Thanks again for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.